Hello everybody, and welcome to part 3 of Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough with Counter Search. So, in the last part, we finally received some Pokeballs. So, in this episode, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna do some exploring, some battling, we're gonna catch some Pokemon for once. It's only like the second episode, but first, we gotta talk to Mother. Yeah, we got the running shoes. very much. So basically if you go back to your house at like any point, it's basically like a poker center. Um, it's a rest station where you can rest. Anyways, running shoes are pretty self-explanatory. Just hold down B and run. Anyways, let's see what we're gonna get right here. Puchiana, no we don't want a Puchiana on our team. Although I did think about it for like a little bit. Oh whoa, I forgot to heal. That's okay, I'll heal right now. There we go. See, using Absorb on weaker Pokemon like this isn't actually too bad. Excellent. No, we don't want Wumple either. Oh no, that's not going to be very effective. Oh well. Puchiana is actually one of like... the series' first and only early game dark types that you can catch. Which is, I guess, pretty neat. It evolves into Mightyena and that's alright. I considered putting it on my team just because having a dark type would be pretty good for some um, upcoming battles, especially the gym battle with Tate and Liza. But I decided against it. And Wumple is another one of those early bug types like um, Weedle and Caterpie. So, would be worth your time to put it on your team early game, the after like level 10 or 20, yeah, it's gonna kind of drag you down, unfortunately. Oh well, did we already... Okay, yeah we did, I forgot that we already went over here. Okay, so we can actually go over here now, which is what we'll be doing in a little bit, let's talk to this guy. What the heck? You blocked that whole thing off for X many hours or however it took you to draw them and it turns out it was your own footprints. For shame. I'd slap you, but the game doesn't have an option for that. Oh well. So now we can go over here. And... Move this way. I am looking for a certain Pokémon. Okay, um, that's not, that's actually not the Pokemon I was looking for, but, you know what, we'll take it. Ralts actually has, like, a 4%, no, not 4%, what is it, it's 5, I, it's either like a 4% or 5% encounter rate on this route. It's very hard, well, not very hard, it's tedious to get, basically, because out of, um, out of 100% chance every time you step into the tall grass, only 5% chance you could run into this Pokemon, which a lot of people like to add Waltz to the team because, you know, Curlia and then Gardevoir, but I also decided against this one. 
I'm just gonna catch it because, you know, why not? It's a pretty uh, rare encounter. If I run into a rare encounter, I'm inclined to catch it. If I can. There we go. That's all there is to it right there. How's the power to sense people's emotions? Gay? I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah. No nickname for you. What do you have to say? Excellent. Well, I just caught a wall, so you should be jealous. Lotad. Another um, really good Pokemon you can get early game, kind of like Ralts. Except this one you gotta evolve with a Water Stone, I think? Either that or a Leaf Stone. No, it's a Water Stone. The only, it's confusing because this is a um, Grass Water type Pokemon. I think that's unique of its type as well. Pretty cool. Oh well, we're not going to be catching that. It's actually pretty common on this route. Oh, I'm looking for a certain Pokémon. There he is! Zigzagoon! Evolves into Wynoon. Which is not the greatest Pokémon. I mean, these are just kind of like early game Pokémon or whatever that you can catch. But I'm catching Zigzagoon for two reasons. Well, hopefully two reasons. And I'll show you as soon as I catch him. There we go. Alright, so reason number one why I wanted to catch Zigzagoon. If you've played Pokemon before, you probably already know what I'm about to say. But... Zigzagoon... Is gonna be our HM buddy. Basically, um, there's moves in the Pokemon um, world called like TMs and HMs, basically. You can find them right here if we had any, which, no, don't worry, we will. We'll find a lot in our journey. But um, TM stands for like technical machine, I think. It's basically a disc of a move that you can teach to a Pokemon, and HM is the same thing. Except those moves can be used outside of battle for obstacles you need to overcome. So, the reason why I caught Zigzagoon, well the first reason, is because Zigzagoon can learn a lot, if not all the HM moves. Actually no, he can't learn all of them, he can't learn fly, but you get what I mean, he learns a lot of them. Which is gonna be great. And yes, he has the ability pick up. May pick up items. Basically, just check your Pokemon inventory every once in a while, and Zigzagoon will be holding an item. So you just go down here and you take it from him and you see what you get. It's basically like free stuff. Now what I could do is... Basically... Get a team of Zigzagoon along with Trico over here. And just have them all pick up stuff, but... I'm not gonna do that just because I'm recording right now and... That would be kind of dumb for me to just spend like 10 or 20 minutes looking for like 4 Zigzagoon to add to my team. I might do it off screen, I might not. But in the meantime, we are actually going to run into our first trainer battle. <clears throat> if you walk into people's line of sight, they're gonna battle you. It's unavoidable can't run from a trainer battle either, so it's like... 
Yeah. You do what you gotta do, basically. I guess I'll use Pound. But trainer battles are pretty good in that they give your Pokemon a lot more experience in wild battles and a lot more and a lot more and more uh, money. That's this. This is basically how you earn money in this game. You just beat people in trainer battles. Pretty self-explanatory. Trainer battles are inherently too difficult, but I mean. They are more difficult than wild Pokemon battles in the sense that trainers can have like more than one Pokemon. And usually trainers are actually pretty competent in the moves that they're doing. I say that, but like, you gotta give this kid a break. It, his, it was a level 5 Puchiano. Keen is level 9, I mean, come on. Anyways. So, there's that. Um... Usually, it can be kind of difficult to tell who's trainers and who's not, but I mean, this guy's obviously a trainer, like, he's not budging. Usually, I guess it, if you want to tell, like, you don't battle people in a building, so you're pretty safe um, from there. Except for gym battles and other stuff. Okay, I think I'm getting off track, but I guess it doesn't matter. I, c I don't really know how to tell you how to distinguish a trainer battle or a Pokemon trainer from a normal person who's just talking about Pokemon. But it's whatever. Man, now I'm slow. I'm still faster than your little bug. I think the only two moves that Wurmple has right now is String Shot and Tackle. Oh well. All these early game battles are kind of embarrassing. <laughs> See, there we go. We're getting money. We're getting experience. It's going pretty good. Yeah. It's like an unspoken rule. So, I don't, I don't think this person will battle us. They'll just talk to us. Yeah. Bless you. But I know this one will. I'm not the first person to say this, but... Or, nor will I be the last. But, Holland's music is just really good. Like, overall, I never have a problem with Hoenn's music, it's just so amazing all the time. The trainer battle, the wild encounter battle, gym battle, you name it. Level 10, I think we get a new move. No we don't, never mind. Okay, god forbid this thing has peck, but I guess we'll just find out. Yeah, it does. It's super effective, but it still doesn't do a whole lot of damage considering it's level 3. But even then, it still did like 7 damage to us, so if that thing was level 5, I think I'd be at low health right now. In any case, bravo. Splendid job, Keen. Splendid. Okay, so we're gonna go to Petalburg in a little bit. But first, I wanna show you guys this. These are berries. Uh, they're a thing that was introduced in Generation 2, basically. You get berries and then you plant berries. You become a farmer. They always give you two berries, so you can always take one and then put it, the other one back in the soil. And berries are useful because you can give them to Pokemon in the hold slot and basically um, the Pokemon will use that berry whenever it needs to. 
don't think I'm explaining this right, but basically... What did HM Buddy pick up? Escape room. Excellent. So, right now, I can give Keen a, uh, Orin Berry, because I think when he gets below half health, he's gonna eat this Orin Berry, and it's gonna give him 10 HP back. Well, I could do that. I don't think I'm gonna do that just yet, but, yeah. Or I could give him the Peachy Berry, and basically he won't eat this berry until he gets poisoned in battle, and then he'll heal himself, kind of deal. So that's nice. Make sure to replant your berries, it's pretty important. I think this, yeah, I was about to say, they're gonna battle us. Last, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think you can further your career by just standing around in a... in an open field area or whatever this is, and expect people to just walk in front of you. You gotta go to the people, you gotta... You have to go seek competition to train, instead of waiting for it to come to you. Words, words of Wisdom by Counter Search. Not just in the literal sense of Pokemon, but even metaphorically speaking, if you want something done, go do it. <laughs> Hello, Shroomish. Goodbye, Shroomish! <laughs> Critical hit. Oh, gosh. Yes. Yes, you did. Learn from your mistakes. Alright, so I don't think there's anything... Oh, yes, there is. I was about to say, I don't think there's anything for us to do over here, but there is. We found a potion. And we found a wild Pokemon. It's a low tad. And you know what? We're about to level up, so we'll fight it. Keen's just getting all the experience for these battles because I don't plan on using Ralt or HM Buddy as, like, permanent team members to where they'll need the experience. There we go, we learned Quick Attack. Quick Attack is a 40 based priority move. Normal type. Basically what that means is that no matter what the speed of the other Pokemon is, even if its speed is like 10 times faster than Trico, Trico will still go first. See, an extremely fast attack that always strikes first. So there's that. But then again, if the other extremely fast Pokemon also has a priority move like Quick Attack, then it's gonna go first anyways. So, there you have that. Gonna go ahead and heal up real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut this episode off. So... In the next part, we are going to explore uh, Petalburg City and see what it has to offer for us. And um, I don't, I can't guarantee that the next part will be this week. As I said, the reason why this part of Pokemon's coming out um, today, as opposed to this weekend, is because I'm going to be traveling this weekend, and I won't have time to make videos again um, for the weekend. So there's that along with a couple other of Shrinkai videos that I plan on making, and then... Um... Yeah, I think that's the plan. So, I guess we're starting off the series a little bit slow, but don't worry, it it'll pick up. We're gonna get stuff done, just you wait and see. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next part.